Well, I've put the I've put the whole pack together dry, but I can't put it in the YXZ because the thrust washer that goes between the hob and the basket, when it goes into its locator, somebody has omitted it and not put it back in when they did the last clutch, which was done before I got the vehicle. It will work without the thrust washer, but what happens is the hob rubs on the basket and there is signs on the back of the hob of it rubbing. So I can't proceed any further till I can locate a thrust washer. The ball bearing that was missing, I've found one of them. I've got one of them coming for next week. So that's not a problem. I'm not asked about that. I think it's the thrust washer that's going to cause me a bit of grief. Anyway, the pack's all built. That's how it's going back into the YXZ. To put it all in as an assembly, I'm just going to take the pressure plate off again. I've also got to oil all the plates before it goes in. But all I want to do at the moment is keep everything together as a unit. Because it's going to sit on the bench here now for a few days. Bit of a nightmare. Oh, here we are. We're uh, getting ready for reassembly. I've come across a couple of snags whilst I've been uh, rebuilding this clutch. And one of them was, I don't know how it's happened. All I know is somebody's been into this clutch in the past. I got this YXZ with 900 miles on it. And ever since I've had it, the clutch has juddered on takeoff, and I just put it down to that's a YXZ clutch. So I've now got four and a half thousand miles on. What is the old clutch pack there? And the friction plates are, are still really, really good, but I've got a few steel plates where the dimpled effect on the steel plates is totally gone, and. All them plates that have got no dimples on are smack bang in the middle of the pack. And the pack was bone dry. If you look at the hob, it was hot, it was wet at the end. And it was wet on this end. But in the middle, it was bone dry. And that's where all the damage is in the clutch. Also, the diaphragm's very, very blue, so it's got quite hot. So, the other thing I noticed was they'd put the, the thinner of the friction plates back in with the anti-judders and hadn't put the wire on it. Well, if you're not bothering to put the wire back on, don't bother with the anti-judders. Which has meant it's damaged the hub a little bit where they've been rattling. So, they're not going back in. I've taken all the burrs off it. And that is now ready to go back in and I've just been modifying that but the other issue I had when I took it off where this goes into the basket let me just bin these metals in here I was missing the thrust plate it just wasn't in the basket was just in there. That's how it sat. So what that's done, if you can see, in this here, it's been rubbing on this face. And it's, it had gouged all that up, so I've cleaned that up. But it didn't explain why I hadn't got the thrust washer in there. And the other thing I was missing 
that's the clutch plunger that sits into the back of the pressure plate. There's meant to be a ball bearing that goes on this face to push onto the push rod that goes to the slow cylinder. Ball bearing was also missing. But I'm thinking because the thrust plate wasn't in it, it made the difference up. Anyhow, it's a Yamaha and I've ripped enough Yamaha engines apart over the years. In my stash of old engines and engine bits, I found a thrust plate. And that's meant to go in there. And that's meant to sit on there. And as you can see, it now spins. Which it didn't do before. So I take that back out. It spins, but you can hear it rubbing. So that thrust plate is very, very important. It's the difference between that face rubbing and it being further into the clutch which is why I think the clutch was working without the ball bearing because with that in that can go deeper into that and then obviously it rubs so you need that but luckily Yamaha used that on other engines and I had an engine that had the same part number in it I bet it's the old part number not the superseded one but saves me trying to find one on the internet. We can see the difference. It's totally free with that in there. And that's how it should be. So that was me two problems I had when I pulled it to bits. No ball bearing, no thrust washer. Which probably explains the judder when I was taking off but if you're like me first YXZ didn't know I just assumed that was the way it was meant to be obviously it isn't so second modification to the um, the hob I've started by Locating every single metal plate where it is in the basket or in the hob and giving each single metal plate a hole all the way around. So I've got 10 holes and that's one for every single individual plate theory in that clutch and the clutch spreads the oil now can come up through them holes and get to the friction plates but being as the metals don't actually sit on the bottom of the groove the oil's going to be coming up through them all the time and then I've put Four holes in that groove, missed the missed one. I've put four holes in that groove. That one at the bottom goes in at an angle so it comes out in the web. And they all align with metals again. I've got four in that groove, three in that groove, four in that groove, and we're back to the single. That's 28 oil holes. So we hold it up to the light. You can see how much oil I'm going to be getting through that hob. That should make sure the entire pack always stays wet. So what I'm going to do now is build the clutch up and I'm going to slide the basket and the hob 
with all the brand new clutch plates into the YXZ. I can't finish reassembly and I can't put the new pressure plate on because I'm missing the ball bearing. But at least I can get all the plates and this lot off the bench and back into the YXZ. So that's what I'm going to do now.